to put too much hammer on it. Feeding time! Feed me more! Yo, welcome to Feeding Time. I am the big guy Ryback, and my voice is just a little bit deeper today. Brother, because I am in, in the mood for food. When am I not in the mood for food, though, huh? Huh? <laughs> Today, guys, we have a sonic mukbang. Mukbang sounds like such a dirty word. This is just a filthy word. Mukbang. The Five Guys mukbang, mukbang was by far the filthiest thing I've done on this channel. That was, I really sank to a new low on that one. Today, guys, we are doing this sonic mukbang breakfast. I wanted to do it outside by the pool. Um, one, it's hot is hell in Vegas right now, even though it is earlier in the morning, it's, it's scorching hot already and the wind is blowing, which is just, that's a disaster waiting to happen. So we're not, we're not doing it outside, we're inside. And we have enough food videos in the car so everyone gets their fix, their fill of uh, all things here on Feeding Time. Eating in the car, like a loser. God, who eats their food in the vehicle? What a no cussing. We're going to try every video, guys. I'm going to fail every video. I'm already putting it out there because I said it. I got some organic ketchup here. Uh, we got a, we got a big, we got a smorgasbord of uh, food. I got the, I got a large, oh shit, tots. I got my ketchup for the tots. I got a whole thing of cheesy tots and a nice fork right here. We got a breakfast burrito. We got another breakfast burrito. We got some Texas toast stuff, sausage and egg, and a Texas toast without it. So, so we're just gonna dive right in. This is a this is a big big breakfast. <clears throat> I got my Thor's hot sauce here. Well, actually, this is you can see inside that. I know. I got my Thor's hot sauce. I'm gonna put a little Thor's hot sauce on this bad boy. Just a smidge, ah shit, that's more than a smidge. Well, it's not too bad actually. Gotta be careful, that Thor's hot sauce is some serious stuff. Oh, there's a Ryback has heat video on that. I'm using a little hot sauce because I'm thinking of, I have not done this, I've been putting it off. And I've been putting it off the Johnny Scoville Chili Cherry Nightmare, dark chocolate infused with Carolina Reapers and black cherries. I believe there's over 17 Reaper peppers in this whole bar, and there's a whole challenge that you do on it. I do believe I can do this, but I have not been eating a lot of the hot foods. I've just not been doing it. And uh, you do want to prepare on that, because I digest it, like I said before. So I also don't have time to screw up my whole evening, and or day for that matter. If I was a Statue of Liberty, it'd be the Statue of Statue de la Big Guy. <laughs> mm. There's a steak in it. Or that sausage. How can I not know the difference between steak and sausage? Or is there both of them? Oh, man, that Thor's hot sauce is good, but it, it's kicking in. Hey, little guy, Sophie. Daddy's doing a food review. Just being a piece of sh eating. definitely that Thor's was a good choice on this is that cheese I think they have cheese egg sausage bacon pieces in it this is a good breakfast burrito
This is my cheat meal for the week. Like, real cheat meal. I'm going to go with the regular tops. Simple Truth Organic Tomato Ketchup. No high fructose corn syrup. Doo -doo -doo. <sighs> mm, this is a big breakfast. This is a big chunk of my calories for the day. No weights. I have two more days. Today, just cardio again, because my back stem cell procedure, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today's day four, recovery. I'm still very tight, but it's, it's definitely getting better every day. I think I'm gonna be able to go do the cold and hot tub today and go in the pool for a bit. So that will help tremendously. I've got a 24 hour fast coming up from tonight to tomorrow night. That will be no weights, no cardio. Give my body one total day of rest. I need to give my mind a day of rest. I haven't done that. I don't know God since when. I need to make a date to Disneyland. But also not right now with my back. I need to give it the time to let all the inflammation go down from the stem cell procedures which is not surgery for a lot of you. A lot of you don't understand that, and that's okay, because how would you? They put you under for it, but it's injections. The most painful part, though, is getting an epidural. For all my pregnant, pregnant homies out there, women that have given, had kids, you know how painful those are. And I'm not gonna act like it's not, it's painful. But I don't take any pain pills or anything. I do have taken some Tylenol. I caved in and took some Tylenol because it was, I mean, like if I would like get, try to get out of this chair the other day, I couldn't. Like it was, it was bad. And I could, obviously, but it took me, took me a bit. I couldn't just like hop up. I wasn't my chipper, just didn't have a lot of pep in my step. Mmm. This is the large tater tot. I got a shit ton of tater tots for guys. I'm gonna have to look at the calorie count. This is gonna end up being a high calorie count. People love the high calorie count foods here at Feed Me More TV. This is a, ooh, oh, ooh. Oh, this just looks like trouble. Texas toast, sausage, egg, cheese. Cheese is on the top. Oh, Jeffrey, you little bitch. Mm. Not bad. What it does need, though, is ketchup. It needs something. We're going to put a little organic ketchup on this bed. Okay. You dumb shit. That wasn't didn't line up. I put the toast bite mark on the opposite end of the where the real bite mark was. There we go. We're lined up. Lined back up. We're going to go with the ketchup on top. The ketchup definitely improves it. But I still don't know how I feel about this. Oh, that was a good bite. I just needed the more the ketchup. I needed the more ketchup in the middle. That makes it really good.
I'm gonna dip it in ketchup too. Really, ketchup overload. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alrighty then. More ketchup it is. Am I going to be able to finish all this? I still got three big things to do. That's what she said. <sighs> Cheesy tots. Let's just try these on. They're all melted together. Cheesy tots are good. Cheesy tots need... Cheesy Tots just need a little layer of ketchup on them. This is also a plug for the organic ketchup, not just the Sonic. God, there's so much damn Cheesy Tots in this. This is like a, just a factory line of Cheesy Tots in the mind now. I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to do a lot of work on the stairmaster. I've been doing the stairmaster a lot. Stairmaster is a great way to keep your legs in shape, burn calories. It burns way more calories if you really do it than the other elliptical machines. There's a reason why, like all the old Ric Flair, Ricky Steamboat, all those guys with super high level conditioning used to do the stairmaster like crazy. And, uh, and I know that because they've told me. They've told us when they came down to classes when we were in developmental. And again, they, I don't think anything quite is the equivalent of wrestling training. But I've also learned that it is very similar. The Stairmaster, because what happens, especially for like bigger guys early on in my career, my legs used to get really tired because I have huge legs that just consume a massive amount of oxygen. So I had to, once I figured out the condition and secrets of just killing yourself, and you have to do five times the amount of work conditioning-wise than smaller guys to have conditioning not be a factor in the matches, which is why I'm able to scream my head off and act like an asshole from bell to bell, is because my conditioning is actually really, really high. They, but burpees in the Stairmaster, two, two just... Put in the work on those. If you don't get tired, you can. there's nothing you can't do out there. You can think clearly the whole time. Uh, which is if people remember, one of my, my, I think it was my last match before I, I walked out the next day, was in uh, Payback in Chicago with Kalisto. And he went to hit a dive on the outside. <laughs> And uh, we had been going up to that point already. It was early in the match, but I mean, we were moving. And uh, I was where he had wanted me to be to catch him further away. And I just saw instantly that it wasn't going to happen. Like instantly. And the only reason why I was able to see it instantly is because I have my conditioning. And I'm able to think of everything as we're doing through everything. And everything's just slow when you have good conditioning. Or your conditioning is not an issue, I should say. And uh, was able to scoop in. I don't know. I've seen it. I don't know what would have happened if I didn't get there. I think he's so good. Protecting himself. He would have been all right. I don't think I saved his life or anything like that. But I do think just for the sake of the match, it didn't, it didn't screw up the flow of the match at all. We kept everything going. So... That's just ring awareness and knowing. You see, you've seen Jericho do it with guys where he makes a save where someone's going to mess up something. And it's, uh, it's just one of those things. Especially when you got people that do high risk offense like that, you just always got to be on the lookout.
This is an enormous breakfast. I need more information. I got the burrito left. And I don't know how good this is going to be, this Texas toast one. That wasn't... What does this one have on it? Oh, this has the bacon. This one might be be a little better with the ketchup. Oh, I'm starting to get hot because it's hot in Vegas. I got the air on too. If you've ever been here in the summer, you know it is all oh, the damn electric bill. And I got solar too. I get hit with two. Solar brings it down though. Makes both the bills cheaper rather than one huge bill. But it's still, I'm pretty sure it's for June, July, August are just, I hate looking at the bill. Especially having multiple air conditioning units in the, in the house, decent sized house. It just, even keeping the temperature, nothing crazy. Uh, but at night I drop upstairs to 75. I could sleep at 75, 74. And then it goes back up a couple degrees during the day. But even, I have to drop it sometimes, just 70, 77, 78. Just, it feels way hotter than that. Than, uh, whew. Definitely maybe got an item or two too much. I just figured, I think I got everything on the breakfast menu, actually. Now that I think about it. I might have not gotten one thing. I think I left off a sausage burrito because these, it was just a sausage breakfast burrito. When I eat junk food like this, my body temperature rises instantly too. It's like it just recognizes this is what's it, the red alert, red alert. It knows I'm putting horrible food into my body and it goes into to fat burning mode. This is not broccoli and green beans. Okay, that was good. We've got one left, guys. One left. Oh, stay with me. Stay with me, compadres. Breakfast burrito. Which one? This is has jalapenos, tomatoes, sausage, tater tots. It has a little hot sauce in it, too. I'm going to do a little hot sauce in it. A little of that Thor's hammer. A little bit too much of Thor's hammer. Oh, fuck. I do want to say, guys. Ah, you want to say more? Shut up! I need a little. Just give me a second. Oh. You see on social media the different things. There's a good quote of, I'm going to not exactly say it is, or is correct word for word, but it was by Carl Jung. And uh, the reason why people are so quick to judge is because thinking is so hard. Something along the lines of that. And it's very true. But 
we see it with people online. A lot of judging going on right now. A lot of judging. And when you understand, and we all do it. Everyone does it. It's just a human, it's human nature. But when you, when you start to understand that judging people literally detracts from your life and takes away from your life, it's really easy to catch and stop doing it. And then just choose to not focus on it and move on. And, uh, but oftentimes we want to distract ourselves because we're so unhappy with our lives. It brings us pleasure or we think it brings us pleasure by tearing other people down rather than trying to be understanding and, and think if we're going to invest our time into it and actually try not to let it give us a negative feeling. But I mean, humans, guys, we're so, we're too far down the rabbit hole. And the way I understand, like, and I read all the time and listen to books and I'm constantly trying to evolve and uh, understand and grow, that's not 99.9% .9 of the population. And we come from fucking Neanderthals, is, you're looking at one right here that just happened to get a little smarter than he should have. And um, we're dealing with a lot of the, the two plus two equals 10 crowd. Um, outnumbers the two plus two equals four crowd by a lot, by a lot. And this has been going on for a long, long time. And there's a, and there's a lot more to it than that. But um, and that portion uh, is really, really harsh when they judge, and they're very vocal when they judge, and they're they're the loudest typically. So we just gotta be conscious of it, guys, and try not to. Um, to catch ourselves when we do it and just move on. You really, really, I'm telling you, the, the girl, the, 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 um, the girl that, that committed suicide over in, uh, in Japan, and I apologize, I can't, her name, uh, doesn't come to my mind right now. And, uh, but like people didn't look at that and that didn't stop anything. I've actually gotten more hate since that incident happened. And again, with me, I don't, it's never going to ever bother me on that or, or have any impact on me. And the, uh, so I'm so far past that and stuff, but I'm just seeing, and you're seeing it with people and you see people are deleting their social media accounts and because a lot of people are judging. And I saw there was something with the girl, is it the Carrie, not Carrie, um, the Kayla Braxton girl from WWE like deleted her social media because people were harassing her for getting COVID again for a second time. But, and I don't know the details, but I don't know if she went to the beach or something and didn't have a, she wasn't around anyone, but didn't have a mask on or I don't know what maybe she did and she didn't, took a picture with the mask off, which is completely fine. But like people, you know, everyone's just judging. And, and it's not, too, it's, you gotta learn to, how to talk to people. You know, if you, you want someone to think differently, you have to be able to, to, to formulate your opinion in a way that will at least be received. It's not say, you fucking piece of shit, you fucking loser, wear a fucking mask. Like, do you think that's gonna be received well by anyone? No. So, but again, thinking is, is takes effort. And uh, it just, we gotta be, be careful of how much we judge. Meanwhile, thousands of comments in the comment section, judging me eating. Talks too much. Mm. Mm. People don't want to hear my thoughts. They just want to see big Ryback smash, destroy, just basic Neanderthal shit. I'm cussing again. Another video we failed at. This is good. Oh. This is definitely a couple thousand calories. I can tell by how full I am. How sad is that? I know. I can just tell by how full I am. It's probably closer to 2,500 calories. I'm sure. Oh, this is hot. The hammer. The hammer's getting me. If somebody in the comment section could do the math, 
it was pretty much everything on the Sonic breakfast menu minus the sausage burrito. The tots were large. The cheesy tots were large. Oh. This is kicking my ass. I put too much. I put too much hammer on it. Oh. Oh, fuck you, Thor. minutes on the Stairmaster today. Why is there so much hot sauce at the end of this? How did it all drop to the end? Oh, and the jalapenos. Holy hell. I'm a mess. What did my life come to? I'm joking, guys. I've actually never been happier. <laughs> I'm so grateful for everything. And for those wondering, I will do food videos when I go back to wrestling. Just so I could really screw with some people's brains. Like, how's he a wrestler and doing food videos? Is he a YouTuber or a wrestler? Ah! You could like be like anything you want in life, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm not even a YouTuber. Like, I'm, I'm, I'd run Feed Me More Nutrition morning to night. And this is essentially another social media platform connected to it that I run. So, that I, just, I dedicate to entertainment. Because I'm tied into wrestling and it, it helps my overall brand for people to understand me and my personality. I can explain anything to any of you on why I do what I do. Oh, holy hell. Oh. <clears throat> Done. Oh, it went all over the laptop. Oh, adding that Thor's hammer in might have really <laughs> been a bit much at the end, guys. All right, this is a long video. Shh. Sonic breakfast mukbang. I have a feeling if someone could put in the calorie count in the bottom, it's between two and 2,500. I'll be shocked if it comes in under that. Um... The breakfast burritos, the first breakfast burrito sandwich was my favorite out of all of it. Uh, the cheesy tots with the ketchup were absolutely delicious. The regular tater tots are delicious. Um, the Texas toast sandwich with the bacon was better than the one, the sausage, egg, and cheese without the bacon um, for me. And adding ketchup on it made a huge difference. Overall, the Sonic <clears throat> breakfast, I think it was close to $30. Um, I got a lot of food, obviously, obviously, and uh, it was worth it. I'm going to give that a, uh, I'm giving the overall breakfast, I'm giving it a 4.4. It was, uh, it was good. It wasn't my favorite breakfast of all time, but it was a very good breakfast. It's very filling. Um, I now have to do a lot of work here with a belly full of food. And um, I don't nap or anything like that, so that shouldn't be an issue. But um, thumb-wise, about 4.4 right there. And uh, 4.4 stars, guys, for the Sonic Breakfast Mukbang uh, food review. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my other channel, Ryback TV, for all podcasts, shooting blanks, wrestling report, and the conversation with the big guy, Ryback every Monday and Thursday on those two shows, guys. Podcast only on that. Feeding Time and Ryback Hesse only here on Feed Me More TV. With that, thank you very much, guys, and Feed Me More Nutrition, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. All first-time buyers can save 25% with discount code SAVE25 on feedmemore.com. We're everywhere with that right now, and I thank you guys for all the love and support on that uh, as we continue to grow uh, the greatest supplement company on the planet. All right. Get hungry, stay hungry. 
be more. Feed me more. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid. Why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. <sighs> New customers, you can save 20% with discount code NEWCUSTOMER on feedmemore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.